Honestly, we're seeing quite a couple players here who haven't been to a local in quite some time. You mentioned Meteor being one of them. I haven't seen Paper at an MSM in quite some time. It has been a while. Still rocking the Gaming Watch now. The thing that I'm curious about is I saw Tato not playing Junior earlier, but playing another character. Oh. Are we going to see it right now? It wasn't K. Wool. Huh? I was going to say, like, hold on. I know Paper, usually we see him around WNF. On Wednesdays, it's usually his tournament, yep. right? Because he's uh, living in the eye. He's a little bit closer to esports right now. But to see him come out here for uh, MSM is quite some time, honestly. Okay, so it is still rocking the Wendy. Uh, not ready to bring in some other character out yet, but still I think for this matchup, yeah. it kind of goes back to what you told, what you said earlier between YMCA and Oracle, right? Yeah. You want to have if you're going to secondary, he has to be on point, yeah. especially against a character like Game and Watch, which is an anti-air machine. You gotta watch out. And it's also really good. The one thing that I do like that Tater is really keen on using is using for Mecha Koopa for setups at times. So he knows, like, if, if Game & Watch is gonna play the ground game to anti-air, I wanna make sure there's something in the way and Mecha Koopa always walking around could definitely be a great help. Yeah, now I feel like compared to uh, Ketchup, uh, Tater Nair is the one to kind of randomly steal early stocks. Yeah. Um, you know, he'll go for things like uh, F smash on shield into spin out because it moves you back and you dodge mm -hmm. a shield grab or something like that. Um, and he'll take really early stocks like that. Uh, so I think versus Game & Watch, that's going to be very important. Uh, light character, getting early stocks is going to be essential to fighting him. Yeah. Oh, no. Gets clipped by the back of the last bit of the second here. All right. 73% onto paper, but he is up a whole stock right now. Goes for the nine, but he doesn't get it. A four, not the worst he could have got, I guess. Down throw. Yeah, you just get stuck there. Yeah. And that's going to be, honestly, not too bad of a deficit here for Tater Nair. Mm -hmm. You remember in, like, the demo when you could, like, Z-drop Diddy Banana while in hit stun? That's what that reminded me of. It, that's not what yeah, happened yeah, yeah. because <laughs> he took enough percent and it dropped the item because of the damage taken. But like, you know what's some dark days? The 3ds when you can cancel hits down with pop gun and, or demon watch. You can just cancel hits done by going for a special after getting thrown. It was ridiculous, man. 3ds for some dark days. You I, ever seen a PM bucket breaking? Oh my! Don't 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 tell me, man. Anyways, the the first iteration of. Smash, sometimes it's got some questionable things. I mean, look at Brawl. It was never patched, honestly. Yeah, it's true. All right, there's the F-Smash, and there's the spin-out. I called that one exactly when the set started. That's one of Tyranero's go-to kill options because the way that the side B works, he, he like, pulls back before he yeah. starts moving, and there's not really lag on forward smash, so people try and like grab out a shield and it dodges. Them. And honestly, in my opinion, it feels like it was a really great call out against Paper, knowing that Paper was going to go for an out of shield option, being either down smash or up smash, and Tater Nader made the right call. He has to go for that low recovery, but unfortunately, in the middle of it, Paper will make sure he doesn't land the ledge. Nice grab, but Jab steals in some percent. And the Mecha Koopa kind of working against Tater Nader there. Stops just behind him and blows up, so now it's not the exact positioning he would have wanted. Up throw, nice. Gets the upper action, but that's the one thing I mentioned about Paper, right? He loves to go for the up special. Now, okay, I want to explain, because this is something a lot of people may not know, but from talking to Ketchup uh, quite a bit, I've learned with the Mecha Koopa, where you know how it sticks to you? Yeah. It it doesn't detonate until hit the hits on your and finishes. Right. So when it sticks to uh, paper there, Terranair was able to forward throw, and then the Mecha Koopa instantly detonates as soon as the hit stun from forward throw finishes. Mm -hmm. But it won't interrupt your combo while you're, like, jabbing them or something. Right. Forward throw, she falls out of it. He goes for the spin out, almost breaks the shield, actually. Yeah. Tater's making sure paper has to work for a lot of things, as much as Tater has to. I, that's a throw? grab, but it's not the worst. It's not like uh, Paper's those are going to kill Tater. He can kind of get away with holding shield here. So long as he doesn't get hit with like a forward or a down smash or up smash or something, I think Tater Nair is 
got a pretty solid handle on this game. But oh, that man. Edward. Oh, no, untackable. And I like it too because Tater wanted to, he knew he had to go low. Yeah. And that, but unfortunately, Paper understands like, okay, he's going to go for that low recovery. How, how much can he really mix it up down there? Like, he's got the side yeah. and stuff. The one thing Dude. I would have preferred if Tato went for high is the few times that we did see him go for clown cart, there were times where Paper went for up air and he wasn't able to hit the clown cart. So Tato should have probably made, might have bet it all on going for high recovery than go for that low. Because, like you said, how, yeah. how far can you mix it up down there? Kind of goes to show the, the different breeds of Bowser Jr. between Tater and Ketchup, right? And that mind thought process yeah, that they both have. Really crazy how like different the two of them actually play when it's one, when it's the same character. Ketchup probably watching the stream like, yes, Tater, <laughs> grab data for me. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure Tater does vice versa. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely say the two of them are some of the top representatives representatives of their character so being in, in the, the world region, yeah yeah so being in the same region they definitely have someone close by they can run stuff by mm -hmm. i think that's super cool and honestly i enjoy talking to both tater and ketchup they're both honestly great people in general and i love watching them play either way it's very very exhilarating i mean we saw last stock last hit last game we'll see what tater can definitely do to make sure that this doesn't play out the same way i uh, uh, once again f smash into oh, the, the side wall. b from tater and air See, that was a good option here, but unfortunately it was the roll that kind of cost him to get sent here by the up special against Paper. Watch the landing here. Shield standoff. Paper gets the better of the grab. Ooh, oh, the good tech, tech. Yeah, good tech. Oh. oh, no. I talked about that up special, dude. It's, just, it's it's really fast. It's hard to see. And the thing is, when you're down there, because of the black Game & Watch skin, you actually can't see him 100% yeah, like, clearly. It's, it's not the worst. It's not like white Game & Watch on Smash 4 FD. But, like, it's hard sometimes to see that. It is. There. Especially it is. in the thick of it with everything flying around, the tech animations, all that. All right, people are looking for an opportunity to just come back on the stage. Tater looking for the ledge guard here, but he's not able to find it. Finally sets up an opportunity here. He's looking to meet Paper in the sky, but he stalled himself out there with the parachute. Oh, stuck, yeah. stuck in a little bit of uh, animation between him and the taunt. The one thing I'm liking is that if Tater approaches, he's not approaching the same way per se. He's trying to watch out on account for up special now. Uh, he's still alive, but seeing at 134%, it's not looking too great for that him. That was great. Sorry, he went for he went for a clown car and immediately down there, sensing that the one thing Paper is always going to do out of shield, which is honestly the fastest special out of shield, is up B, and he went for a down there for a good reason. He said, you know what, I want you to go for up special so that my down there will connect this time around. Yeah, but the... But the upbeat beat it. Yeah. That was the only thing that happened, right? It's like, yeah. Tater had the right mindset, but unfortunately, I'm special beating it out. All right, this is starting to just look like it's running away from Tater and Air here. Yeah, I'm not looking too kind for him. Down throw. Goes for a second there afterwards, but he's not going to fight the Koopa cart, but he doesn't find the eject into the hammer. That's one for low recovery, nice. He lived that. All right, here comes uh, side nice, No, yeah. it just rolls away. That was good too, because usually like the one thing we see Paper go for is out of, shield, uh, out of options for that one. Things like a smash. Especially how we saw up smash last game. Good setup for Tater, right. and he finally gets the stock. 96 to Paper's freshest 0%. All right, now can Tater bring this back? That's going to be the star of it. Big damage, 47%. With and it a all came rather from, creative combo. Mm -hmm. And it all came from going for the, Koopa, the clown cart into the Z-drop of the Mecha Koopa. Nice, Tato looking to find a way back in. Trying to fake out Paper just a little bit, forward at the 75% here. Yeah, and Junior might be a bigger character, but Wendy has so many ways to mix up her like movement with the side B and make it difficult for Paper to know when he can commit. Yeah, and now this has become Paper's game to lose. Yeah, I mean, Tato's brought this one all the way back to even percent from such a deficit. Jabs, nice. no. He tests it out with just the first hit of the gentleman jab. Good dash attack. I like the fact that he has the Mega Koopa kind of running around the ground here. Oh, oh no, no, but the roll, the roll. Wow. It happens.